Oh yeah, getting Peach wet. Well, sorry guys, you just missed Peach's wet shirt contest. But it's okay, because up next is Toadsworth. Make that sexy noise only you can make. Hello everyone, this is Michael Majeur, back with part 3 of Super Mario Sunshine. And what we're going to do is go back to episode 3. Now you might be thinking, well Michael, why are we going back to episode 3? You already got the shine there. Well, in every level there are two hidden shines. And conveniently, excuse me, if one of the shines is in a, like a secret shine, like the hillside cave secret, or a secret shine, you can always go back there a second time. The difference being the second time is, Shadow Mario isn't being a giant dick and doesn't steal your flood. Now, what does this do? This does one of two things, which I will tell you once I get there. Which will be very shortly. Just gonna go over here. Across the logs. You guys already see me do this. Are there alter damn it. There are alternative ways to getting up here besides doing this, but personally I think it's just the fastest for me. Come on. There we go. Alright. See, Shadow Mario didn't still flood. And there's a big red button. Well, what do you do with big red buttons? You push them. Collect eight red coins before the timer goes out. Good luck. Oh my god, a red coin challenge. <sighs> wow, fail on my part. Oh well. But yeah, eight red coins. I recognize them. Uh, there's a time limit though on this. So you're gonna have to be pretty quick. Uh, pretty quick to collect them all. Although they're not really that hard. Like, this first one is pretty easy. You can easily make it with a leeway of 20 seconds. I screwed up the beginning, so I probably won't be able to do that. But it's just, you know. Being the first one, they needed to make it so it was pretty easy to complete. And since you have Flood, this makes it infinitely easier. I mean, it really. Oh, make the, make the, make the, make the, make the, make the, make Yes! Oh my god, that was lucky. That was just really lucky. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, around 15 seconds left, and that's with screwing up like twice. So, really not too hard. And then, you just gotta. Yeah, luckily the time stops after you collect all eight red coins, otherwise, it would just be a monster to do this. You have to get it, and then go to the shine, but. We got it, guys! Shine! Alright, let's just jump right back in there. Once this cutscene loads. Okay, now look, World 3. Well, I guess now would be a good time to tell you guys a story of how this world is World 2 to me. Let's go ahead and head on over there. Now, actually, something I've been wondering is it. Yeah, it is. Wow. If you guys notice, probably don't. Give me a second. There's just a little floating thing up there, which doesn't make much sense, considering, you know. It'll make much much more sense once you defeat the, uh... Where are these guys? I don't even know what their names are. Let's just call them Paint Piranhas. Get some alliteration in there. Alright, so this is the last one in the game, unfortunately. I know, right? We love them so much. So pretty much, they just overkill them at the beginning of the game, and then you just never see them again. Story of the paintball on the plant, but you know, it's a sad life. So, like before, it'll come back again, but this time, boom, it throws out a bunch of paint blobs, which still aren't, you know, too bad considering they're still paint blobs. So, one more hit, and we are good to go to figure out what this paint. You know, it still amazes me how much gravity suction this goop has. I mean, it can just take up entire buildings and just seeming with just like nothing. But you know. Oh, it's a lighthouse. Okay. See now it makes sense because that thing's up there now. So yeah. Hey! What are you doing? What what? No. Yeah, die. Piece of crap. No, don't worry, Todd, I'll clean you. I'll clean you. Alright, anyway. To me, this was World 1. And let me explain why. So, pretty much, uh, I think I might have explained this already, how before, when I was, uh, um, can I, this yet? No. Well, maybe, actually. 
Yeah, okay. Anyway, so like I was saying before, after I came out of playing Mario 64, I started playing this game. Like, a year later, so. So I didn't realize that you had to jump into those. Because, I don't know, I just didn't think to do it. So what I was trying to do was figure out how to get up there, and I was like doing, you know, walking jumping and everything, and I tried to triple jump after I landed, you know, for fun, and I ended up just shooting into the portal. Which was... And this was the first level I ever entered in Super Mario Sunshine, so you know, just a little fun fact. And check it out, there's an invisible force field. Until we spray some water. And then we can go in. But we're not going to go in. We're going to head back to... Bianco Hills. Because if you guys know me, then you know I like to complete things in one shot. Just because it's nicer just to have it done and out of my mind, so... Come on, back in we go. Alright. Shine number four, Red Coins of Windmill Hill. Alright, I'm going to be honest, I did do this one before. That was just because I was trying to, um... Well, I tried to record this before. Ah, excuse me, I gotta stop doing that. I was trying to record this before with a few of my friends, because we wanted to do... I wanted to have some guest commentary in this. Since a lot of times it's a lot more enjoyable if you have, like, a lot of people in it, you know, just to get different, perce uh, different perspectives of everything. And... What we ended up doing was, we couldn't use TeamViewer because it made the uh, software lag and frame rate would skip. So, I tried to stream it through Ustream, which worked, but the quality was like, bad and everything. And they couldn't see it. So, what we ended up having to do was, um, buy this, well not buy, but, there's a software, Adobe, um, uh, I want to say a, Adobe something version 3, that... Uh, you stream tells you to buy if you're having trouble with quality. And it got a little better, and the frame rate was better and everything, but it, like, hogged all the, like, frame rate. So I was streaming it there and trying to record through my Dazzle. But what happened was, it ended up just hogging everything, and my Dazzle just came out in terrible quality, terrible frame rate, and just terrible everything. So I ended up having to scrap it, and then, you know, here's this. So I'm trying to figure out a way to get guest commentary. I'm not sure I'm going to do it, but, you know, whatever. Well, there's the shine. If I can time this right. Come on, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Yeah! Shine! And let's keep going. Alright, what's the next star we gotta do? Let's check. It's PD Piranha Strikes Back. Oh yeah. Best shine. Oh my god. Slime everywhere. It almost looks like chocolate pudding from that angle. You know? No, no one knows what this shit is. It could be it could be shit for all we know. Although we do know one thing. Shadow Mario is using some freaky ass paintbrush. Well maybe it's paint. I don't know. Sort of like that one Oblivion challenge from the Elder Scrolls 4 where the guy had the magic paintbrush and then you had to go into the world and everything was like surreal and everything and the trolls came and you had to kill the trolls for the, you know, and then get the paintbrush back and everything. Maybe it's something like that where he can just manipulate worlds that win, but who knows. Anyway, we saw where Petey Piranha was, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go take him out. Uh, how are we going to do this? Uh... Oh, we can't use it yet. Because we're just going to be a dick and program it in there. To leave you guys in suspense. <laughs> uh, here we go. Clear a quick path. And come here, little guy. Look how adorable he is. Let's kill it! Oh, I missed. Let's kill another one. Got him. Oh, it just amazes me. I mean, look how cute, innocent... I mean, these, these guys can't defend for themselves, and I'm filling them with water, somewhat torture-like, and then just shooting them off. I mean, I just feel bad for them. I mean, imagine what their parents have to tell. Oh, I'm sorry, little Billy died. <gasps> how did he die? Well, some guy attached him to a, a water nozzle, filled his stomach up with water, and then shot him at a plant. I mean, come on, that just sounds terrible. I wonder, can you hit him with these, actually? Oh my god, you can. 
I had no idea you could do. Oh, okay, cool, awesome. You know, I'm totally taking him out like that now using those. And a new attack, generating tornadoes. Gotcha. Although still, same tactic. You know, if he was intelligent, he would only make the tornadoes. Then he would win this fight, you know. But no, instead he's got to be stupid and flipping tornadoes and shit. But whatever. I'm not gonna argue with AI logic. You, you never want to argue with AI logic. It's just bad. It's just bad. Let's see. Oh, hello. There's some down here. Cool. Where do you go? It's down there. Can't run from me, Petey Piranha. I know your secret, man. Oh sh! Jesus. It's freaking throw up. It's just now. Ah. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Yeah. Okay, you. You die too. I don't like you. You're dead. Have fun. Yes! That was close. That was very close right there. We got him. Bada bing bada. Aw. Boom. Oh, that's delayed. Oh, well. Quickly get another one of the. Um... I wonder what their name is. I mean, I'm sure they named them. Just name them Puffballs. Okay, that's a good name. Puffballs. Get the puffball and kill it! Your sacrifice won't be in vain! We'll get a shine sprite out of it! BAM! Although usually he actually generates a crap ton of tornadoes. He's doing this pretty quickly, I gotta say. Like a boo. If you don't look at him... Maybe... Maybe... Yes! I'm sorry, Petey Piranha. This will be the last time we're meeting. Have to disintegrate again. <laughs> yep, same death animations before too. Just turned into some toxic pledge. See if I can't. Ah, I didn't do it. I was trying to see if I can make it so I would land in midair or like freeze in midair and then grab the shine like that. But oh well, just grab it and you're going to spin jump into this Mario. You're, you're going. Thank you. That's shine number seven. Shine number seven. Sorry. <laughs> kind of slurred the S's there. Anyway, that's all the time we have for this part three. So I am going to see you guys next time. Bye bye.